Moving on to the next topic that is aggregate functions. Aggregate functions are very important because they take, uh, they give you the information from your data like who is the student with the highest marks, what is the sum of total fees collected or what are the count of students. So there are, these are the functions average, minimum, maximum, sum and count. So let's try to use all of them. Let's first use the average. So I'll just go to student table and I'll just say, what are the average marks? Okay, so I'll just say, select. Average is the function, aggregate function. I have to pass which column I want to take average of. I'll say marks from students. Oh, student. So now I'll get the, uh, okay, so average of all the students is 70.26. Average marks scored by all the students is 70.26. That's pretty cool. Maybe I want to take next is minimum and maximum. I want to know the student who has scored the least marks. So select minimum min of marks. And I want his name from student. So I'll get the name of the student who has scored the least marks. And it is Aman who has scored only 48 of percentage. Okay, fine. Maybe I want to do the next thing, next good thing that is, I want to know the name of the person who has scored the highest marks. Mm, so I'll say max marks and name because I want the person's name from student. So now, okay, it's again Aman. Okay, so I think there's some problem here. Okay, let's see the student table now. Aman has neither scored uh, highest marks or haven't scored the least marks. So what we can do is that if you want to project the name, then we'll have to write some a bit of you know uh, different queries. So I'll just say select name from student where marks equal to select maximum marks from student okay so i wrote a subquery for comparing my marks so first thing i did was i calculated okay so i'll just have to check this one two one two so i don't need this okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna calculate Using this subquery, I'm going to calculate the maximum marks from student table. Once I get those maximum marks, I'll use those maximum marks to in my where clause for my original query or my parent query. I'll use those maximum marks in my where clause for marks and I'll get the name of that student who has scored the maximum marks. So I'll just say it is Scarlett. Is it Scarlett? Let's just need to check. Yeah. It is Scarlett who has scored the maximum. So mm, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just do this for this person who has scored the minimum marks. Again, same. So I'm going to write my subquery. In my subquery, I'm going to change it from max to min. I'm going to go. And it is Krishanu who has scored the least mark. Is it right? Yes, Krishanu has scored the least amount of marks. Yeah. All right. So this is how you use the subquery and aggregate function together. That's cool. Next, we are going to use sum. So we're going to sum. Sum is pretty easy, I think. Okay. So we'll say select sum of fees. So total collection as total from student. Here, I'm trying to in my student table, there is a column for fees. So I'm a college administrator. I want to know how much total fees are collected. So I'm going to say select sum of fees as total. I have renamed that result as total from student. And the total is 2,51,000, which is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Close to a quarter million. Not bad. All right. Uh, now I want to do something cheesy. I want to get the... 
I want to get the department wise sum. Okay, so I'll just say, okay, I need a lot of things to do. Select uh, sum of fees as department, let's say debt total from student natural join department and I'm going to use this new thing called as group by and I'm going to use it as department number yeah I'm going to do that okay so I'm going to go and okay I just I got the department total but I really have no idea about who is who so I'll just go back to my query I just need to have the department uh, department name also there uh, comma depth name okay so now I'll go so computer department collected total fees as 49,000 civil department scored uh, collected total fees 1,45,000 and production department collected total fees 45,000 uh, this is a group by group by groups the entries of all the uh, department number similar department number together so if you look at the student table it will join see the non-match will be left out so mandy and scarlet are gone which are no match in the department table rest of them that is rohan aman tushar kunal and krishna will be grouped by their department so kunal and aman will be grouped together as one row and that upon that grouping there is a aggregate function called as sum will be operated so while they are grouping aman and kunal from department world together they'll also take their sum right so you specify the group by to aggregate them and then apply the aggregate function right which is pretty cool we can do something more from this so for example we could say get the department wise uh, topper yeah so let's do that let's get the department wise topper so let's just write select max marks name that is student name and then department name from where student dot depth number equal to department dot depth number so let's try and do this okay column depth number is ambiguous okay okay fine so we just need to say group by department dot depth number okay so here we got the desired result as you can see in the computer department the topper is aman with 89.56 in civil department topper is tushar with 58.14 and production department topper is rohan with 89.34 i think this could be done by the join so let's just try to do this by join okay let's do this using the join syntax uh, natural join department we don't need this where clause we can just specify group by let's see what happens okay the same result as we saw very very simple as I said group by statement is used in conjunction with the aggregate functions like we saw just now to group the results by one or more columns right all right